I'm originally from Windsor, Connecticut, and my family has been in uh, shade grown cigar wrapper tobacco and cattle um, since 16 something or other. My husband retired about 10 years ago, and we've been here as snowbirds ever since. And in fact, I came and was lucky enough to join our guild here in Scottsdale, our quilt guild, um, right about when it was starting. I think like many other people my age, um, I started by making doll clothes and little pieces when I was very, very young. Um, before that, I, I was into other types of sewing. I did my first cross stitch sampler when I was seven, which was the same age as one my mother did. My husband and I are, are geocachers. We go out and find little treasures throughout the country and they are hidden throughout the world. Um, I am a glass artist and I enjoy counting cross stitch and cruel work and many other needle Art, art things. My grandmother was was a seamstress and a tailor. My mother taught tailoring. So, and even before that, I had a relative in about 1750 who would grow her own flax and put it into the Reading Pond and make linen. And I have a piece of that linen. I enjoyed making the little garden wandering path uh, through the plants and I enjoy putting different plants together that have different colors, different structure. It's all the same whether it's beads, you know, glass, quilting, gardening. It's all color design, grouping. That's what it's all about for me. This is another guild project, but oh, right. it's becoming the Christmas present. Right. We all had to draw a crayon out of a box of crayons. I got this lovely color. <laughs> nice. Uh, and I have not yet found a solid that, in fabric that I can I use that has that. Answer. So instead of just thinking, well, I'll do a bunch of blocks using this color, I thought, let's continue with this landscape phase and find something I like that has a lot of that color in it or something close to it that I can kind of mess with. So this was the picture that was taken of my son and daughter-in-law's honeymoon when they were in Rome and she's peeking out of her oh, window. Nice. So I make little photo cards like that, but then I, I blew it up to eight and a half by 11 and then my husband and I figured out just the other day how to blow it up in grayscale to the size I wanted it for the finished quilt or, or close. So this is it. So we made it out of four pieces of paper. And I decided to crop this. Sure. These are the threads I'm going to use. So I cropped that because I really didn't want all of that stuff in there. I liked it better as a composition without that. So the only part I'm going to be actually copying onto fabric is Cara's face and hands and arms. So she'll be cut out exactly like that from fabric that I run through my printer with the computer image. Nice. Then the rest of this, I will take anything I can find that's close to this crayon color and do all the rest of it using just pieces of fabric like I did with that little landscape. When you asked about um, my reason for quilting or whatever, I think it's the closest you can come to immortality because hopefully they'll be saved I'm not of the caliber that's going to be saved by a museum, but I'm quite sure my son and daughter are going to be saving my quilts.